He was thought to care too much. Let's join the action. And after much deliberation, we here at City Hall have decided to break up the destructive six and scatter them throughout the district. Mr. Mayor, can I say something? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> Sorry, sir. May I say something? That's better. Your Honor, this whole time we've been trying to say how sorry we are that the statue broke. So here it is. We're sorry. We didn't mean to break it. Heck, we thought we were supposed to climb it. I guess we weren't. But the thing is, a priceless statue doesn't feel anything when it gets all broken up. But sir, a friendship like ours sure does. After some deliberation, we agree that what you said was very nice. However, a beloved statue has been broken because you climbed on it, and now you all must pay. Your Honor, I must protest. Basically, these are good kids. And I said, I'll be quiet, Frickley, or I'll have you swinging up the city zoo. I swing that kind of lumber. Now then, by the power vested in me, yada yada yada, I hereby sentence you to this up to six. <laughs> Are you nuts? I'm Thaddeus T. Third, the fifth. Now sit down or you're fired. I don't work for you. That's what you think. Well, Mr. Third, how nice to see you. Thank you again for the lovely city hall. It was a write-off. I'm here about this ridiculous hearing. You're treating these children like hardened criminals. But, sir, those children broke the beloved statue of your grandfather by climbing all over it. Before you condemn these scamps for that, I'd like you all to see something. Ronnie Cheech, get the lights on the slide projector. particular swinger was one Muriel P. Finster, aged him. Oh, yeah. Does anyone recognize esteemed school principal Petey Prickly, age 11? <laughs> Those were the days. Here's a happy bunch of types. Let's get a little closer. See that kid? The one actually trying to break the statue? Well, folks, that is our mayor to be. Little Philip Fitzhugh. That don't look too good. Kids play. Kids climb on statues. That's what they've always done. That's what they always will do. If you're gonna punish them for this, why not punish them for being shorter than you as well? Well, I don't think any of us were really suggesting that... Accidents happen, Fitzhugh. Somebody says they're sorry and it's over, you jingle-brained public servant. Now I strongly urge you to leave these children to their games and studies. Yes, yes, of course, sir. <laughs> shots of me apologizing to the kids. Thanks a lot, Mr. Fifth. It's third.